Recently, many people are having issues with connecting their external drives on Mac. Could it be connected to macOS 11? Possibly. I got a comment on my video which made me think about it and try to find possible solutions. So here it is. But don't worry, the cross-platform is not destroyed at all. I will show you now few things you can try to solve the issue. Anyway, do you have any problem, anything unclear or something you would like to learn? Let me know about it in the comments below and the next video might be answering your question. First, let's go to the disk utility. You can search for it using Spotlight or just here in the launchpad. Now on the left sidebar, you will see all the connected devices. Currently, I don't have any external device connected, so I can see only my Mac. The default format for Mac is APFS. If you want to create partition of the disk, it only gives me APFS compatible options. But that's not what this video is about. If you want to know more about these formats and which one is the best to use on any hard drive, watch my older video about it. I will link it in the description below. Usually to fix the problem with mounting goes to reformatting the whole disk. But there is one solution which might help. I will show you at the end of this video. But I want to start from the beginning. And the thing is to realize what is the problem. As I mentioned before, if you have APFS disk, it might be showing you only compatible option with that. And it doesn't need to be the whole disk. Because if you connect external drive with just a small APFS container, it might be already showing you only compatible options for APFS. In this case, the solution would be delete the volume first. No need to format the whole disk. But where I can see the containers? Well, let's first connect two external volumes to my computer. And as you can see, they are here on the side without any problem. And look at it, it's XFET. And I'm on macOS Monterey, so there is no general problem with this format. If you have any issue with it, it will most likely be connected to your external drive, which we will try to solve now. As I said before, the best solution is to erase it all and start from the beginning. But if you have many files there, it might be a painful process. So we better try some other possible options before. The really first thing you should do is to open the view menu in the disk utility app and select show all devices. Now it actually gives me all the information about external drives I have connected. And more importantly, it shows all the partitions and containers. So here you might find out that your disk has one container in APFS. So just go ahead and erase that one and change it to XFET. You don't need to format the whole disk, but this one container might be blocking you to see the XFET format. After you delete that, all the options for APFS, DOS and XFET should appear. But maybe you have a problem with mounting the disk properly. It might be this kind of message. This error message is very typical for drives which are formatted to XFET. Now very important thing. When using a drive between macOS and Windows, you should always format the disk on macOS, because not all the Windows allocation unit sizes are supported by macOS. All these unsupported allocation unit sizes will keep the drive from mounting. If you formatted your disk on Windows, you will probably have to backup any important data on the drive and reformat it again on macOS. The XFET format will definitely work fine on Windows after, but this process must be done on Mac. Now let's try to solve the mounting issue without deleting anything. There is one more thing you can try. It's not guaranteed, but it might help. So first of all, make sure you have selected show all devices from the view menu. The disk might not be connecting to Finder, but it should be at least visible in disk utility. So mount it, then close the error message if you see any. Don't leave it there you have to skip the error. And after that, in disk utility, run this first aid. Once you do that, here select show details and you will see what's going on. 
Other messages like can't mount or unmount might appear, so just accept anything, whatever appears here. I can't physically show you because all my drives work just fine, but I think you got it. It seems like a silly small thing to do, but it should really help and repair the disk. Unfortunately, if this process doesn't help you, you will have to format the whole disk again, as I said before. Anyway, I hope this video really helped you solve the issue and I would like to know your feedback. So let me know in the comments if it helped or maybe you have another technique that works for you, so share it with others as well. Apple Online Academy channel is here to help you with all the macOS issues and teach you how to use Apple devices to their full potential. So if you have any problem, I am here to help you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.